Hi everyone, it's Monday the 23rd of May and it's 7.35 in the evening. And in this video, I've got about half a dozen laptops that I want to show you. Um, but before we get into those, I just want to quickly show you a little project that I uh, did this afternoon. I just want to practice a little bit with a soldering iron. I had a bunch of these little LEDs spare, so... Yeah. Now these look like they're just ordinary bicycle lights. I don't know, you know, just your ordinary... I don't know what they cost now, about $3.99 LED lights. Well, I paid 50p each for these, and I got a rear one as well, um, from a car boot sale that was held here in town yesterday. Which, for the first one in quite a few years, it wasn't a bad turnout, to be honest. I was quite impressed. Anyway. Now. I had a bunch of, I think I said already, you know, just a bunch of loose LEDs. I bought, I don't know how many off eBay a while ago and I think it was 10 of each colour, something like that. Um, so I've changed the LEDs. Now originally these had little green ones in and they were crap to put it bluntly and green isn't actually, if I remember the highway code properly, you can't use green on a bicycle anymore, it has to be white just like on any other vehicle. Um, so I took those out and I put a different colour in. I put blue in. I've done them both. They're actually quite bright, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I quite like that. Now I have got some more of these kicking around, just some older ones I've had oof, kicking around for a few years now. I was going to try some amber LEDs in those ones, just to see what they look like. I can always put them back to white if I don't like it. But anyway, let's move on to these laptops, shall we? Um, yeah, I think I bought about 14 in total when me and Mum were there Saturday. Um, the car boot is called The Late One, which is held over at Alsham here in Norfolk. Um, not bad car boot, really. Especially if the weather's nice, that can get quite packed to the point where um, the organisers sometimes have to turn stalls away because um, they just have no room. The whole field just gets full. Anyway, there was a young lad there Actually, there's a couple of young lads on this particular store, and they were selling um, not just good mobile phones, but he, there was a little box there full of broken phones in various conditions. They had smashed screens. Some of them had stickers on that said, you know, no battery and stuff like that. Um, and a few other sort of electronic bits and bobs. Anyway, he had about 14 laptops. He had four set out on the table, and the rest were all in like a plastic tote on the ground. Now, originally I was just going to go through and take a gamble, really. Um, I didn't like the ones he had on the desk because they were all Dell, so I was going to take all four of those. Um, plus, one was an i7, the other three were i5s. And almost identical, the other three. Um, and I was going to pick a few from the box on the floor, but... Uh, we made a deal on the whole lot, you know, he said, you know, I can do the whole lot for such and such price, and I thought, hmm, might as well take the whole lot then, <laughs> and have a little play around, I don't know, I've just been in the mood to play around with laptops lately, I mean, I've got rid of a bunch already, and I've just reacquired a bunch, that seems to be quite a cycle with me, you know, as soon as I get rid of something, I then fill that hole again with more of that something I got rid of. Anyway, I only managed to bring, I think it was nine of them home. I think I've got about five more over at Mum's, so I couldn't quite get them all on the uh, moped. I mean, trust me, I had them in a bag on a hook between my legs. There's like a little hook uh, just below the handlebars on my moped, so I can hang bags on there and have them between my legs or between my feet. Um, I had them in my backpack, and I had the smallest two under the seat. Anyway. Um, out of the nine that I bought here, two of those I've already broken for parts. One was dead, and some of its parts have already gone to another laptop here because it was one of three identical Dells, apart from the keyboard. That was the only difference I could find. Um, the one that was dead, 
was still sort of taking on an older design where you had the little dimple on the keyboard for a mouse as well as the trackpad so you had like two sets of mouse buttons as well um, but that was dead and the other one I bought back did work but it had a big old chunk out of the um, top panel where the keyboard is so I swapped them because you could actually take the extra mouse buttons off it was like something that could be added in the factory you know it just little simple little ribbon cable and you can just unplug it just like the keyboard cable and whatnot so that's what I did so I've reused the panel onto this one no battery and it may not turn on <laughs> it seems to be quite temperamental that one but anyway there's the part I love them ignore the tools I've been in the process of like sorting them out and I've sort of been around the whole flat and collected them all and just bunged them on there for now anyway the first one on the pile is a MacBook Air let me just uh, drop you down now I haven't got a power adapter for one of these because I barely ever get anything Apple at all in fact I can't remember the last time I had anything Apple um, so as the charges for these are only about 15 quid on eBay I gambled and I've bought one so I don't know if this works I don't know if it's completely dead if it is dead I'll just put it and the charger on eBay and uh, see what I can get for it, see if we can get a bit of money back I hope it does work because I wouldn't mind you know having an Apple machine to actually use because I've never used Apple in my life no I don't even think we had apples when I was at school anyway, here's the first of the Dells now this is the one that I had three of one is still over at Mum's and I've got this one here and the other one I've broken for parts obviously the um, five I've got over at Mum's I don't know if they work or anything yet this one's got the battery missing 4 gigs DDR3 RAM Intel i5 um, installed now I have got the time and date set on this and I've left the uh, mains charger connected we'll see if it's going to play ball and actually do anything sometimes you turn it on it shuts itself off no it's actually going to work maybe it just didn't like the fact that the time and date wasn't set or in fact it hasn't got battery connected but um, yeah I can't remember what OS it had on this before I put Windows 10 on this is what I've put on it I've been playing with these over the weekend <clears throat> but yeah this is the panel that I replaced because there's a big chunk out of that corner um, yeah the keyboard had a little dimple thing on there to operate the mouse cursor as well as the extra buttons underneath the keyboard I just took those off because um, if I wanted to use that one which I could have I'd have had to have changed this bezel as well because this whole bezel comes off <clears throat> it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle just to change this top panel because <laughs> got to go under here and you've got to take this middle panel off then you've got to take these two panels off because there's some screws hiding under that <laughs> you've then got to take the bezel off here the keyboard off and then you take out another sort of four screws and then you can take this top panel off <laughs> but uh, it's a fair bit of work just to change that panel but it's not hard work to be honest but yeah it's all complete it all works apart from the battery. I can't remember. I know I said it's got four gigabytes of RAM. But, um, did I say it was DDR3? I can't remember. There's actually several laptops here which have got DDR3 memoirs on it. Yeah, I quite like this laptop. Um, like I said, I don't know if the other one works. Not yet. I was going to head back over to Mum's today, but the weather hasn't been very nice today, so. I changed my mind <laughs> um, the only problem is as soon as I take that AC adapter out that's going to um, mess up all the time and date settings again oh well there's not much I can do about that at the minute if I can get a battery for this 
cheap enough. I'll have a look on eBay and I'll replace the battery. Because for some reason all three of these just didn't come with a battery. It came with everything else, they were just basically complete like this. Um, but yeah, just missing the battery. Considering how old they are, I don't think they're going to be too much. Here's another one, which is a brand I've never heard of. It's Geo. Now, I can get this one to turn on. The battery is dead on it. I don't think it's charged up enough. Oh, no, it has got some charge in it. But you're not going to see anything on screen. I can just about see Geo there. So, the backlight on the screen has gone. I don't know if it boots or anything. I don't know if I can get a screen for this one. Because um, the other one of these I had, because there was two of these, um, I broke for parts because the screen was all smashed. And when I was taking it apart, I found that not only is this bezel screwed on, they're glued on as well. So it might be a pain in the ass to actually change that screen if I can even find one. So I don't really know what to do with this. Um, just try and turn it off. Go on, turn it off. I mean, I've got a spare battery from the other one, so that's not a bad thing. It's got a Windows, Windows 8 sticker on the bottom. So it should have at least 4 gigs of RAM, and it should be, I would have thought, DDR3. Can't remember now. But yeah, I actually wouldn't mind getting that one up and running. If I can find a screen for it, but like I said, I've never heard of Geo before. A friend of mine looked these up on the internet and apparently they're a well-known, well-established UK brand, and, but I've never heard of them. So, <laughs> make of that what you will. <coughs> right, next. <coughs> that went down the wrong hole. Hang on. Got an Acer. I have got a similar one to this. Um, in the pile over at Mum's. It's got a nice big chunk out of this corner. It's not sharp though, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I don't know if Windows or anything is installed on this, because I can't power it up long enough to find out. Because the little charge socket on the end there is broken. So I've been on the Ebays, and I think for about £6 I bought another one. And I bought the uh, AC adapter for it as well. Um, I was using a universal one to plug in there and it was like, it was one of them socks where you had to hold it at just the right angle to get it to work, you know, and you stick your tongue out at just the right angle as well. So I've got parts on order for that one. Speaking of, that Samsung laptop I was given that also had the broken power adapter, I've ordered one for that as well. And they've all got tracking numbers so I hope they will arrive this week, I hope they arrive in the morning actually. So, yeah, I can't power that one up to show you either. They're the only two, that and the Mac, are the only two here at the moment that um, don't work, so to speak. Uh, well, out of this job lot, because I know the Samsung don't work, but I still haven't done the advent, which is on the floor behind me. Now, we've got a Samsung. Again, I actually quite like this colour. Uh, it's got a Windows 7 COA on the bottom. I think, if I remember rightly, I put 4 gigs of RAM on this as well. Quite a nice clean laptop, as you can see. Nice big screen. It does work. I don't know if the battery holds charged. We're about to find out. It does! I have got the adapter here, but yeah. That's the problem. I don't know if you can see that. Bring it a bit closer. Um, there is damage to the screen there. Oh, pardon me. I mean, if you're not fussy, it probably wouldn't be an issue. I mean, it doesn't bother me that much. You know, I don't know how well that's going to show up on the screen. Now. It's over there on the right side. One there and a little one a bit further up. We'll let the desktop... Uh, do you like my laptop name, Dork? 
I don't know what I've, I've named a lot of my um, laptops that. It's just a random name. I was giving, yeah, you can see it now. Look at that. There's another one right there. That's literally the only thing wrong with this that I can find. Everything else seems to work. I mean, if I really want a two and I want to keep these to use, I'll see if I can find some cheap SSDs to put in them because I've only got uh, um, hard drives. That's all I've got. Except one. The last one that I'm going to show you, which is a Dell, has actually got an SSD in it. So, yeah, there we go. There's the Samsung. In good working order. Just got that blemish on the screen. Well, I shouldn't think it's too difficult to replace. I don't know what screen's going to cost me. Um, but I think, from the looks of it, it's four screws at the top, two on the bottom, bezel off, and I should just be able to get the screen out that way. Yeah, if I remember to tonight, I'll have a look on eBay and see if I can find one. Um, I'm sure there was something else I want to look for as well, wasn't there? Um, oh yeah, battery for the other Dell. Right, next one. It's an HP. Uh, which has actually got a Windows 8 sticker. And again, DDR3. I think most of the laptops I've got are DDR3. There might be one or two that was DDR2. The Geo, I'm not actually sure of. Right. Anyway, there's another one that's actually pretty clean. Look at that. See, I didn't buy no crap. I know I took a gamble because I had no idea the condition. Apart from one, which is the last one I'm going to show you because I asked about that one. Because... That is a keeper. That is mine. I like that one. Do we have charge in a battery? Oh, this one charges as well. I don't know how well they hold a charge though, but they take a charge and a Dell charger actually fits this. <laughs> <clears throat> but yes, another one I put a hard drive in and uh, this one had a habit of being temperamental as well. But I actually found out that's because of a 4 gigabyte um, stick of RAM that I put in this one. I should be able to um, use it, which it was, but it seemed like once that RAM got hot, this started playing up. In fact, this blue screened on me. So I switched it out for a different stick, and it's been fine. Yeah, another one. There's literally nothing wrong with it. There's nothing missing from it. There's no damage with this one. In fact, I could probably stick this one back up for sale and turn um, a little bit or get a good chunk of my money back. <clears throat> In fact, you know, if I actually played the cards right and did it right, I could probably make a tiny bit of profit as well. But I'm not doing this for profit, I do it because I like it. <clears throat> I want to see... Um, if I can actually upgrade the RAM on this one as well and perhaps give it to Mum. Not that that's going to last long with Mum. She's got a brand new laptop and that's um, playing up on her as well. <laughs> I don't get it. It's exactly the same Lenovo as my stepdad bought for himself a year or so ago, now a couple of years ago. Um, and hers is playing up to no end, but his seems to be working fine. I, I don't know. But neither of them, you know, they don't go to any weird sites. They ignore all the spam emails. Mum ignores her email most of the time anyway. <clears throat> so, I don't know what it is. I'll, I'll, if I remember, I'll have a look at hers when I'm next over there. Anyway, here's the one that I'm keeping for myself. A nice big Dell, which is an i7. I wasn't convinced when I first saw this because I thought, an i7, you know, it's quite a bulky, thick laptop, you know. It's got an extension bit on the battery. I'm assuming that's a battery upgrade for it. But yeah, the guy was telling me this was his daily laptop until he got another one. <clears throat> it's a bit dusty. I'm going to clean the screen. But yeah, other than that, it's, again, it's clean, it's complete, and he, when I asked if this one worked, he said it powers up, and he, well, 
He was wrong, because this actually booted into Windows XP. Had Windows XP installed on it. I don't know why, I don't know if he was playing around with it, because it seems like he's, you know, he does it for a living, plus plays around with laptops like this, and fixes them, sells them, whatever, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I actually quite like this. Um, it's a Latitude E6510, and I've looked it up, and yes, it is actually an i7. In fact, they also came in an i5 option as well. But when I look to see what max RAM this can support, because this has got 4 gigs DDR3 installed, it just said it depends on what processor it's got installed. Being an i7, it could um, upgrade to um, 8 gigs, which would be nice. But it seems to work perfectly fine as is. Now the battery is dud on this one. Yeah. When I plug the charger in, it comes on blue. And then I'll start flashing amber. It has flashed blue, now that'll start flashing amber. It won't do anything. So I might see if I can get another battery for this one. It's not doing anything at all at the minute. It's plugged in, yeah, it's plugged in and turned on. Nice dark blue light on the uh, power button. There we go, just took its time. I've got a soft spot for Dells anyway. <clears throat> I don't know why. I know there's some people out there that don't like Dells. But then again, you know, life would be boring if we all liked the same things. Now this one is actually an SSD that I already had Windows 10 installed on. Um, I've got running, I think it's a 120 gig SSD. Um, so I'll probably end up taking this one back to Mum's and leaving it over there for me to use. It's okay using a phone, but I can find it quite annoying to try and reply to people on the phone. I don't know. I just prefer replying to messages on Facebook and Discord with a computer. But yeah, there we go. Animatronic there on the background from um, Five Nights at Candy's. There's the amber light flashing away. Wi-Fi is on. It actually says Wi-Fi instead of a little symbol. I know they've gone for the usual blue backlighting on everything, but it's not an in-your-face blue, you know, it's not super bright blue that blinds you. I hate that. This is just a nice soft display, especially from that blue button. The blue button. The power button. But yeah, this is a quite nice little laptop, actually. I honestly, honestly did not think this was an i7. It hasn't even got USB 3 on it. I might have thought being an i7, you know, it would have had USB 3, it would have had, um, or being thinner, um, I don't know, maybe this was just before USB 3s came out. I don't actually know how old this one is. No, I'm not wanting to sign into Discord yet. I mean, the battery's not too important on this, because I will just use it for mains at mums, but... You know... It just depends how much they are. I might get one at some point. It'd be nice to have a good battery on it. If I had the tools, I'd have tried to have rebuild that one. Because it's probably, what, 18650s in it? I could buy a load of those and rebuild it. I don't know how easy that is. See if I can get it out. It might make life a bit easier when I'm looking for a replacement. Put COA sticker under that. I noticed some laptop companies like to do that. They put things like the COA and the models and everything underneath the battery. So HP, I think HP like to do that as well. Yes, yeah, an original Dell battery. I suppose if you could actually get into this. 
I could essentially replace because I bet they are 18650s in this. Uh, I don't know, I thought they were clips to clip the two halves together, but you see it's all glued together. Or was it ultrasonically sealed or whatever it is that they do with things like this? Same with wall adapters. Uh, to be honest, I don't want these, it's going to cost too much second hand anyway. Or off eBay, I mean. Besides, I would need one of those um, spot welders to do this. And I haven't got one. Just for sake of keeping that, I'm going to put the battery back on there. But yeah, one of the reasons I actually like this, I like the style of it, because I like that brushed steel look on the lid. I have to try and get some something to get this sticker off with. Maybe some WD-40 will work. I have seen that trick work on stickers. You just soak it in some WD-40 and that should um, come off. The only problem is WD-40 stinks. <laughs> so, I'm not keen on that idea, but... That is on there quite well, and it annoys me. But yeah, this is actually quite a nice laptop. I like this one. Try and scrub a mark off. That isn't actually a mark, it's part of the lid. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's see that. With the yellow light. I've had this plugged in for hours over the weekend and that's all the light does, it doesn't do anything else. Um, that's not a USB socket, I'm not sure what it is, it looks like external SATA. SATA. It's also got a um, display um, socket on there, you know, for a monitor display thing, display port. That's where the SSD is. Now for some reason the cover doesn't work with that SSD. That's why I've got no cover on there. I've got the cover, it's in the lounge, but it just it won't work. Um, I actually don't know what this is. It's a little flap there. No it isn't, it's a blank for something. That's some sort of card slot maybe? I don't know. It must be to have that in there. What we've got in that is that just another blank? Yeah. Just a blank to keep the dust out. Nothing on the front. We've just got a compact disc rewriter and DVD writer bloody wire on the side there. We've got fire wire, headphone mic and two more USB ports. And the Wi-Fi switch. And a very thin slot for some sort of memory card right there. Well, I presume it's a memory card. It's a very, very thin slot. Almost looks like a credit card, actually. Oh, I, yeah, it is a card slot. I just remembered what it is. When Windows XP was on this, before I took the hard drive out and threw in the SSD and whatnot, um, I couldn't actually get to the desktop because it was password protected, and it did actually say insert card or press Control alt delete to continue. So there must have been... Um, one of those cards, you know, people in job centres who work in there, they, I don't know if they still do, but they used to have a lanyard with a card around the neck, you know, just hanging around the neck. And they would put that into the machine while they were sitting at it, so they could access that computer. And every time they left, they'd take the card out, and that would lock the computer. I'm guessing that's what this is. In fact, I'm pretty certain that's what that slot's going to be for. <clears throat> I don't know if Windows 10 is going to detect it, but I'd probably need some software for it. Seems weird that Windows XP was installed on an i7 laptop. Even more weird that there was drivers for it, to be honest. I thought this would have been too new a hardware for that. Considering it's been a while since uh, support for Windows XP had uh, finished. Anywho. I'm going to end the video there. Uh, as soon as I get the other laptops back from Mum's, which I'm hoping will be... No, it won't be tomorrow, because I'm busy here. 
Um, probably Wednesday then, I hope. I've got some other things to do over there as well. Um, yeah, so as soon as I've got those other laptops back, I can do another video on those. So uh, thanks a lot for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I will talk to you again in the next one. Bye.